live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. Coming up today on Houston Life, we are coming to you live from Galveston, right on the strand where the holidays are in full swing. Well, the island is all glammed up, if you will, decorated from the streets to the stores and even the hotels. You can't miss the truly awesome photo ops, the perfect backdrop for your holiday photos or the all important Instagram photo, right? If you don't post on IG, it didn't happen, but really anywhere you go on the island is a perfect picture. Great photos around every single corner. You can bring the kids or the grandkids, hop aboard the Polar Express. That sounds like a good time. It's made a stop at the Galveston Railroad Museum and is taking on passengers. We're gonna take you on board for a look at the magical ride based on the famous children's story. It is a classic indeed. Listen, you can also take a step back and learn how Christmas was celebrated in the early 1900s. Enrique Ramirez goes inside Bishop's Palace to get the history of the holidays here on the island. And Lauren Kelly is out on the strand looking for some one of a kind gifts. Lauren. I'm looking around you guys all around me stores everywhere. You want the funky stuff. You want the eclectic stuff. The perfect stuff you're only going to find on Galveston Island. I'm going to do some holiday shopping right down there in the strand. What I will find I'll bring it to you guys coming up today on Houston Life. We have got that plus a list of holiday events and a brand new island exhibit coming up on today's show. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. As I like to say, we are officially on island time. I feel like we missed the memo today, though. We're both wearing sweaters. I feel like we should be in shorts, flip flops and T-shirts, but it truly is such a beautiful time of year to be down on the island. No matter the temperature, it's such a great way to to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city, celebrate the holidays. And we've said it before, Courtney, but getting on island time, I feel like every time I drive over that causeway onto the island, suddenly that stress melts away a bit. Listen, the, the grip on the steering wheel loosens <laughs> as the go. second I get on that causeway. This is, you know what, it's so much fun for the whole family. You bring the family, you come solo. There are options for everyone. Shop for one of a kind gifts, which is my favorite hobby and you can only get on the island of course Lauren Kelly is taking tackling all of the shopping for us today and when you're planning your itinerary which will include shopping <laughs> eating out we're going to give you some ideas today everyone has their personal favorites but if you've just come to the island for the very first time we're going to point you in the right direction where to eat grab a drink Dakri timeout has the miracle pop-up bar one it's of our favorites. just as good as it sounds. <laughs> it's a miracle pop-up bar. So we're going to chat with the owner, Brad, and try a few of their holiday cocktails in just a few minutes. They do this really cool thing where they do a holiday pop-up, but also at Daiquiri Time Out, they have this great happy hour. They open at 4 p.m., so you can get the party started nice and early. And they always have fun vessels for the cocktails. <laughs> vessels. Vessels. They do. Not ships, but containers, drink containers. <laughs> we're going to show you what they are coming up. So as we mentioned, there are all kinds of events happening here on the island throughout the month from traditional to quirky and many things you can't experience anywhere but right here on Galveston Island. OK, so let's get in all the details. We have Michael Woody, Chief Tourism Officer for Visit Galveston, joining us now with all the things to do here on the island. It is so great to see you. It is great to see you, too. And thank you for being here and for enjoying some island time. Oh, you bet. Today. Thanks for inviting us because as we said, our stress level, everybody is just kind of walking with a spring in their step when we get down here. I There's nothing you. better. And I think we did order some pretty good weather for you today. Thank you for that. Yes, absolutely. It is beautiful. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Holiday with the Cranes. This was described by the New York Times as one of the quirkiest events in Texas. Michael, what's it all about? I tell you, it's a lot of fun. So if you like birding, um, this is the thing for you. Um, so this is part of the migratory time for the Sandhill Cranes. Um, these 
These are three to four foot tall birds with red caps. Uh, perfect for the holidays. Um, so it's a great opportunity to do bird watching. We do early morning tours. So a lot of fun things tied to seeing the Sandhill Cranes. It's so cool. They got the memo for the holidays. I love their red cap. Of it's course. fantastic. <laughs> That's happening from December 10th and 11th. Um, also, we need to talk about, because this is our eating season, so we also need to work out and do the Santa hustle. What of is course. this? Okay, the best 5K uh, half marathon you can do during the holidays because everyone puts on the Santa hat, the beard, everything. So we're ready to go for that. That is a lot of fun. Um, new location this year. So if you've joined us before, um, we are now starting off at the Grand Galvez. Uh, will be the starting point for Santa Hustle. But there's a kids run. There's also um, some great opportunities for the rest of us who maybe want to, yeah, you can walk a 5K. Sure. You don't have to run it. Um, and so a lot of fun things there and uh, benefits the um, food bank here. Um, so we encourage a lot of uh, activity. All that. ages are welcome, Michael. This is such a great event. Runners, as you can see on your screen, encouraged to dress in festive attire and everyone who participates gets a Santa beard, a hat, a finisher <laughs> medal. As you mentioned, it supports the Galveston County Food Bank and runners are also encouraged to bring a donation for Toys for Tots. Absolutely. Yeah, it is a really a lot of fun. So again, I encourage people to come out. Um, I will be there. So I'll be looking for both of you. Fantastic. Um, and even with the beard. Well, I'll be in disguise yes. dressed yes. as Santa, yeah, Courtney, go. too. <laughs> I love a good Santa hustle. Okay, we can't be on the island and not talk about the uh, 1894 Opera House because yeah. this is one of the places that is a must-see. It is. And you know what? It's such a magical place to be in, uh, being a historic theater. Um, you just really feel like uh, you have stepped back in time. Uh, but we've got a lot of great activities coming up there. Uh, this weekend is the Nutcracker. Um, so who would not want to do that? Uh, Nutcracker is a great thing to see. We also do um, tea in Edna's room and in Rudy and Paco's next door. So you can have a great uh, activity with that. That is great. So December 10th, as you see on the screen, Nutcracker afternoon tea. So great for young boys and girls and their families in Edna's room at the Grand and Rudy and Paco's as well. Michael, uh, thank you so much for pointing us in the, the right direction. You have been the best tour guide <laughs> as we have come down to Galveston so Fantastic. many times over the years. Well, great. Pleasure to have you both here and look forward to all of your viewers coming and spending a little island time with us during the holidays. Gotta love it, Michael. Very thank nice. you so much. Right. Thank you. And in the meantime, you can find more information about all the events happening on the island at visitgalveston.com. Okay, well, the holidays on island time are taking about taking a break, right? Turning off the noise and having some fun with the season. Well, nothing gets us in the holiday spirit quite like a themed cocktail. And the folks at uh, Daiquiri Time Out uh, have brought us some of the favorites. And we are talking about Miracle Bar. This is one of the things that we have chatted about here on Houston Life a few times. Well, and their bar at this time of year, it's been transformed into a Christmas themed hangout with lights, holiday decorations, and some over the top holiday drinks. They were kind enough to bring the fun to us today. I think this is becoming a yearly tradition for us. I'm great, great to see you. Yeah, yeah, we love coming. We love whenever we get together and do this every year. This is uh, it's my favorite time of the year. Well, Brad, nothing says a party like a pop up bar here in Sanger Fest right. Park. We got to love it. Uh, what do you have for us today? So, uh, you know, with all the wonderful cocktails that we're doing with the with the miracle pop up bar, uh, we thought we'd start you off with a little bit of eggnog to get in this, you know, even though it's a little warm like outside. Knows us. <laughs> you know us so well, Brad. So, yeah, so this this is going to be uh, one of my favorites for the holidays. We use a really nice cognac. Uh, it does contain dairy and eggs. Uh, you know, whenever it comes to eggnog, I always like fresh nutmeg. The more the more the merrier. It's always a big part of our of our eggnog. And this is a house made eggnog. Yeah, bread. So absolutely. people come to Daiquiri Time Out, they can get one of these. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is one of the one of the mini cocktails that we're that we're creating uh, for the holidays. With a fresh nutmeg, With the fresh of nutmeg course. on top. Yes. Derek, and the I'm going to hand glass. this to you. Here you oh go. Goodness, That's thank the you thing. So much. You guys kick it up a notch because you get the vessel. This yes. is what we take home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all for purchase. All the glassware is for purchase, and 10% of the proceeds go back to a national charity, SIVA, the SIVA Foundation. Um, they uh, help um, eye saving uh, foundation across the world. And then we also do a lot of local charities with Galveston Police Department, Blue Santa. And, you know, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And where can we find the pop up bar happening? It's at 2701 Market Street just a few, uh, few blocks away from here. 
It's okay. great, and it opens daily at 4 p.m. At 4 p.m.? We understand you have a second cocktail for us. This we is delicious, do. by yeah, the yeah. way. What's the second one, Brad? So the next one we're going to do is called Santa's Little Helper, and okay. it's going to have some uh, London Dry Gin, some sage, some fresh lime, a little eucalyptus, and a caraway syrup. So Ooh. let me walk you through this one. It's, All right, it's, go for it. Oh, so yeah, this is Citadel's really nice London Dry Gin that we enjoy using. What is the uh, the garnish on the top of this glass? That is this is, a koala? It is a koala. <laughs> <laughs> and he's holding a sage leaf. Oh, I love it. And, very you know, very just nice. Some fresh lime, that spiced caraway we talked about. And this is a eucalyptus bitters. Very nice. All right, then we'll get some ice in here. And then we're gonna Quick shake that shake. up. Brad's always given a generous pour. I think that's one reason we love you, Brad. <laughs> yeah. Well, always a, welcome. Yeah, it's a tough job you guys have. I'm telling you. Well, listen, while we're shaking that, there's several cocktails on the menu. A Christmapolitan, Santa's Little Helper, Christmas Cricket, Elping Around. Uh, and, and again, for a nominal, uh, minimal fee, you get the, um, the cocktail wear, the vessel, if you will, to take home. They are so cute. You can see all these different uh, the glassware options here. Brad, we're going to have you serve that up. We're going to try that during the break, but stay tuned because we still have a lot of fun coming up that today. That is right. When we come back, we are having fun celebrating the holidays in the present, but what about Christmas Pass? Yeah, and later, giant sea creatures are popping up all over the island. We're going to find out where you can see them and the fascinating story and great cause, the reason how they were made. Don't go away. The special edition of Houston Life will be back right after this. Well, welcome back to a festive edition of Houston Life from Galveston Island. A look now at the Bryan Museum decked out for the holidays. Okay, this is truly one of my favorite spots on the island. You can't come to the island without feeling the history here. And the Bryan Museum tells the early stories of Texas and the American West. Less than a mile from the museum, you'll find the historic homes of two of Galveston's most prominent families. Enrique Ramirez takes us inside Moody Mansion and Bishop's Palace for a closer look at what the holidays were like at the turn of the 20th century. Get ready to step back in time to celebrate Christmas at two of Galveston's most iconic homes, the Moody Mansion and Bishop's Palace. These homes played host to many elaborate Christmas celebrations in the past, celebrations that still echo here today. Let's start at the Moody Mansion. They moved into the house in 1900 and they opened the house that Christmas. They were settled in it enough that they had a, a rather elaborate Christmas party and invited friends and family and even the neighbors here in the neighborhood. And Miss Libby would put a enormous tree here in the entry hall every year. The Moody's and their guests would eat here in this elegant dining room. They would serve fruits, nuts, and of course, eggnog. And the highlight of the evening was when they would bring the homemade, the family homemade recipe of eggnog up from the kitchen on the ground floor on the dumb waiter in the butler's pantry, bring it in and pour it in this lovely gold plated punch bowl and dip it into the matching cups. As you walk through the first floor, you'll notice each room has a theme. For example, here in the parlor, we have the blue and white ornaments on the tree, and then we have the lovely blue poinsettias on the mantel and in the wreath above the mantel. The commemorative plates, and they are Danish porcelain. A Christmas tree in every room. The reception room, the study, and of course the ballroom. A tradition that started more recently with Mary Moody, the firstborn of the four Moody children. To re-celebrate and remember those Christmases she had helped her mother decorate the many trees during the time that she grew up here. I think this whole ground floor as a whole is absolutely gorgeous. And I think the way that they decorated emphasizes the elegance of the house throughout. And just a little further down Main Street. Now Cardinal represents faith, hope, and love. Bishop's Palace has also decked its halls. What's special about the Bishop Palace is that it's a Victorian home where people can come and visit and they can learn about 
the family that lived here, which is called the Gresham family. But for the month of December, these Christmas trees are the centerpiece of the palace. We get a lot of compliments about our trees and how, what it would look like back then and how the Greshams would spend it with their family and kids. A lot of people love the peacock tree. Around the Victorian era time, they would actually get real peacocks. And what they do is that they would strip the feather off the peacocks and they would use those feathers to put on their own Christmas tree. But the most important tree is the one here located in the main hall. Mr. Gresham would actually walk up these stairs and actually stand in the middle of the popol and then he would make his announcement to his guests and introduce what's happening at the palace, what's like for dinner. As for the main family Christmas tree, strict rules were to be followed. They weren't allowed to put any fake garland or any fake portsettas around. They were only allowed to use green library. The ghosts of Christmas past are definitely alive, both here at the Moody Mansion and Bishop's Palace. Both two fantastic sights to see here on the island, right? They're beautiful. I still have my Bryan Museum ornament hanging on the Christmas tree at I home. I love that. What a great memory. Well, you can take a holiday tour of both homes yourself. For hours and ticket information, head to galvestonhistory.org. Again, great for all ages. Time now to check back in with Lauren Kelly. She is out on the Strand searching for fun and unique gifts. Something tells me she's found some. Lauren? Well, Derek and Courtney, you can't come down to Galveston and go to the Strand without shopping eclectic items you're not finding anywhere else. Henley Market. Stephanie, tell us what I am holding, your most well-known item. This is our signature item here at the Henley. It is a beautiful cider beetle. we got cider deer. They're mulling spices for wine or apple juice. It, the Christmas spirit will fill your home when you put these on uh, every every season. Here. Talk They're about available. eclectic though. You're not finding this anywhere else. But no. also this entire wall, the nativity, fair trade nativities. These are beautiful handmade nativities from around the world that are fair trade. Uh, generations of families have come down and picked up their nativities every Christmas season. They're available all year long, but Talk about the holiday spirit. They're beautiful, Absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely. You got they some are. here for everybody's budget from $1 to lots of dollars. Stephanie, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. And to you too. Derek and Courtney, I've got some shopping to do, so back to you guys for now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have FOMO, but all of those are great gift ideas. The, uh, the, the cider, cider we have done that many times. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, Lauren. When we come back, we're going to do a chilly escape right here on the coast. Mel Camp takes us on the ice at Moody Gardens. Hi, Mel. Ice skating, it is fun for the whole family. But you know, that's not the only thing you can do here at Moody Gardens. Coming up, we're going to tell you about all the fun you can have for the holidays. Don't go away. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life. We are checking out all there is to see and do for your family here on Galveston Island this holiday season. Well, you could spend days just exploring Moody Gardens, one of our favorite places. Yeah, we could. love going there and they've gone full winter mode. Yeah, they have nine winter attractions running through the first week of January. Those include guest favorite Iceland. <laughs> it is back after a two year hiatus. This year, a team of ice carvers, they are so talented. They have turned nearly two million pounds of ice into a Caribbean seascape. Or you can warm up outside with some hot cocoa or s'mores and take a tour of the Festival of Lights. It is a mile long trail of decorations with, get this, more than two million lights. It's a sight to be seen. Or how about ice skating? Mel Camp is at the Moody Gardens Ice Rink with details on how your family can lace up and make some really cool winter memories. Courtney, Derek, look, no hat. I think I'm getting somewhere with this skating thing, but I might just need a little bit more practice, which is good that the ice rink is... Oh, look at me moving over to <laughs> Jerry. Careful. But it's really good that the ice rink is open for quite some time if people want to get practicing their ice skating. Yes, we're open all the way through January 7th here at the ice rink. And 
Great news is when you get your Festival of Lights ticket in the evening, that includes admission to the ice rink. So you can come in here, get a little skating in, and it also includes access to the Arctic slide. So a lot of fun just I with love that. That was the one I went on last time I was here, wasn't it? The yeah, Arctic slide. Yeah. Okay, that is a whole lot of fun. There really is heaps and heaps going on. What are some of the other things that we can do during the holiday season here? Um, well, a few things more about the ice rink. We, uh, we are open during the day on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And then once Christmas break starts on the 19th of December, we're open during the day and the evening all the way through January 2nd. So come during the daytime, get some skating in, and you can even rent the rink for like an hour for $150. So if you wanted to have your own private event, come in here and do that for an hour. Or we were kind of thinking if you had a marriage proposal, this would be a really cool thing. So oh, that is such a beautiful romantic idea. It's oh my so goodness. Can we just look at these? I mean, these guys have kind of got the ice rink to themselves at the moment. Jeremy was skating really fast. He said the secret is to just keep moving. That's the secret. I'm not moving at all. I'm not even going to try it. But I want to say, Liz, you guys come over. This is just such a fun family activity. <laughs> and you guys, I mean, you guys are really good, but this is a first, this is first time skating for you. Yeah, little guy. this is our first time ice skating, Galveston, and his first time on skates. Do you want to show them? Hold me. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, you're going to say hi to the microphone? <laughs> He's going to say hi to the microphone. Look at those baby skates. Little baby they? skates, his first time on ice. Oh, this is so cute. So there are skates for all sizes, but of course you can bring your own if you're a little bit more. Oh, look at this. I think I'm going to... Wait, what did, what did Jeremy say? He said, don't stop once you get moving. All right, this is awesome. Have you... Have you said everything you need to say, Jerry? Do you need to say anything else? If you need to say anything else, take the microphone. Because I'm right, So you can go to moodygardens.org and check out all the other attractions, Iceland, the uh, 3D Theater, Rudolph 4D, and we've got breakfast with Santa. We've got evening cruises to see the lights, train rides. You can uh, enjoy so many things here, along with Cirque Joy Holiday Show. I managed to turn around. <laughs> And we wrap it up with New Year's Eve cruises and New Year's Palooza. <laughs> it's certainly so much fun. I always love coming to Moody Gardens. Jerry, thanks for always hosting us here and showing us a great time. Well, thank you. Come celebrate the holidays with us. Woo, yes. Happy holidays at Moody Gardens. Watch, I'm going to show off now. Watch this. Connie, Derek, I'm moving. Oh, wow. She is ready for the ice capades. Jerry Hamachek is good too. And Jerry always looks great. Mel looks really good in skates too. She does. All right, if you would like to go, you can check out attraction times and ticket information. Yes. And uh, we have that information for you at moodygardens.com. Okay, or like our next guest, lucky KPRC2 insider, a virtual guest rather, you could try to win them because it is prize wheel time. Each week, in case you haven't heard, we give away <laughs> prizes like tickets to Moody Gardens. And brand new on the wheel this week, we have all kinds of fun prizes, including a $1,000 holiday gift card to Katie Mills Mall, zoo lights, and two VIP attraction passes worth 150 bucks. And of course, there's also a little Moody Garden spin here too as well. And today we are spinning for Lisa Shackett from LaGrange. She's 65 years old, a mom of two, and both she and her husband, a retired police officer, grew up in Houston and now enjoy the quiet life with their 14 feigning goats and 13 miniature donkeys. Wow. I want to go visit their so home. So cute. Uh, by the way, their two favorites are Johnny Cash and June Bug Carter Cash. That is great. We're I love glad it. you're enjoying some time together. Okay, what do you say? We spin the wheel for Lisa and her husband. Lisa, this one's for you. Here you go. Reminder, two VIP passes to Galveston Attractions, Houston Zoo Lights, so many fun experiences to make your holiday brighter. Oh, and look at this. We got Moody, Moody Gardens, Gardens, Lisa. We can see where it's sort of stuck, but that is where it is. Moody Gardens on Galveston Island. Congratulations. Our producers will be in touch. And if you would like your chance to spin and win live on the show, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider program. Just scan the QR code there on your screen or visit clicktohouston.com slash insider to sign up totally free. And speaking of winning, Lauren Kelly is cruising the Strand looking to score some really cool gifts. Any luck, Lauren? 
All right, Derek and Courtney, you guys come on in. We're in Lady Brown's Boutique in the Strand right over here. Miss Lady Brown, Crystal, thank you for having us today. Absolutely, babe. You talk about unique gifts, you walk in the Christmas trees right here, yep. but that's not what we're calling unique. You got the Mardi Gras Christmas that's tree right. here too. <laughs> what are your favorite items that you'd love to sell every day? My favorite items I love to sell every day, a little bit of everything. We are a boutique that carries just fun, uh, fun things, you know, like I don't take fashion like so, so serious to where we can't wear whatever we want. You know, I mean, look, so, it might be Houston, Texas, yeah. but you've got the cutest earmuffs I've ever seen, and they're sparkly. We can also yeah. cheers to the Real Housewives of Galveston. <laughs> <laughs> there really yeah. is something in here for everyone, so I suggest you come in, grab yes. those holiday gifts. Prices range from high to low. You've got all the stuff, everybody's Absolutely. budget. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Definitely getting some shopping done in here, you guys. Derek and Courtney, back to you. All kinds of one-of-a-kind gifts. Thank you, Lauren. Still to come, a fun new activity for your holiday break. Can you spot all 30 brand new sea sculptures on the island? They're here to entertain and educate. This special edition of Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life. Derek Shore here along with Courtney Zavala. The man on your screen, Brad Stringer from Daiquiri Time Out. They have their holiday miracle pop-up bar, and he is working hard to shake us up these cocktails. Courtney, he just delivered a very fresh batch. So, Brad, thank you so much. And when you come down to the island, be sure to pay him a visit over at Daiquiri Time Out. How is it? Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I still have my dino cup from last holiday season mm. when we took the show on the road. I know you love your little eggnog um, and so that little vessel there is beautiful cheers 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 to, to you. you cheers to you <laughs> listen I just toasted you with my microphone you, you did Sorry. I didn't even notice <laughs> <laughs> listen I do want to do a special shout out um, to the style co uh, over on post office because that's where I got a little decked out with some holiday earrings I love a good accessory oh the and ones you're wearing now the ones I'm wearing now I had a hard time choosing but listen how cute are these flamingo um, holiday earrings? These are absolutely adorable. They're and then super we huge. have, I think we're trying to get it, uh, maybe not. Um, Some close up shots. And then the, the earrings with my face on them, these are Grinch earrings. Those are so cute. How about and look these? at this Fizz the Season. Fizz I mean, the season. so That's cute. And then also, you. I'm, I'm going to hold this up, but Derek, I'm just going to need you to talk to someone to put the mic down. Here, yeah. Okay. So, oh basic Grinch. It's like the Starbucks logo, but the Grinch face on it. It's like it was made for us. Super, super <laughs> cute. Hey, by the way, Galveston Island is such a great place to staycation. For get sure. away from the city any time of year, but especially during the holidays, you can get your last minute gifts and just take a break from the hustle. So many places to stay here and the hotels here themselves, they are a destination because they are decked out for the holidays. Sophisticated decorations at the San Luis Resort. Look at this. I mean, talk about a photo op and a great place to make memories. The perfect backdrop for a beautiful family photo, maybe even your holiday card, Courtney. Listen, another stop, the Grand Galvez is bringing the nostalgia with an antique truck right out in front. Some inside, there's some classic decor, Santa and his reindeer, red and green decorated trees. It's absolutely beautiful. And of course, as we saw, Moody Gardens is a great one for the kids, Santa and his Woodland friends have set up camp in the lobby at the Moody Gardens Hotel. That is an absolutely perfect place as well. Okay, this is so elaborate. I wonder how long it took them to set that up. Anyway, the downtown shops have also gotten into the spirit with a friendly little competition. This is so great. They're having a tree decorating contest. This is so cool because they do this every season. As you walk along the shops and restaurants, keep an eye out for their creatively decorated trees in and around their stores. We found some some at Galveston Island Dry Goods, uh, the Emerald Ocean Discoveries, Salty Southern Chick, and La King's Confectionery. And I have to tell you, you can vote for these. It is very cool and it's very unique each and every shop. Some stiff competition. They all look great to me. And the downtown area is lined with mom and pop shops with unique finds that make some pretty cool gifts. Perfect for that person on your list who already has everything. It's perfect. Lauren Kelly is shopping local today, checking out some downtown boutiques. Right now, she's at one of our favorite places, Christmas on the Strand. Okay, Lauren, share everything. 
you guys know this is one of our absolute favorite stores here on the Strand for Houston Life. Ginger, you've been on with us before. I and have. We had to come back by because you have Christmas decorations all throughout the year. That's but correct. this is the time to come in and get it. It is. We're very not full. Not just Christmas decorations. Oh, no, not at all. We're, but, we're a gift shop as well. Yes, but we will start with your magnificent nutcrackers behind you. They are beautiful. You have so many different ones to choose from. So many people collect them. It becomes a really, really fun gift to give every Christmas. Yeah, in the back of the store, I do love that you have your typical Christmas tree, your ornaments, your decorations, and you have lots and lots and lots of different things to choose from. You have an entire candy tree, like candy cane tree and, and different things like that. But we were laughing because one of the most popular ornaments that you sell is... Ranch dressing. <laughs> Everybody Texas, loves ranch. That's right. So that's right. when you're in the store, Ginger, you can get stuff for Christmas, all holidays, and don't forget, we are on Galveston Island, so you have a ton of the nautical stuff as Absolutely. well. Anything beach related? Anything. We have this big upside down tree and it's everything nautical. A lot of it says Galveston, but it can, re can really make a beach tree. Pop. And then we also cannot forget to show off these magnificent snow globes. Yes, and these uh, Look old at that. TVs. That's so adorable. Yes. I love, love those them. so much. They light up and they glisten yes, so, they so beautifully. We can't come into a gift store without talking about pet gifts as well. I mean, look at the selection. You had to yank me out of here to get on camera. <laughs> Dogs, cats, we've got it all. <laughs> and so from the decorations, you have some jewelry, you have a lot of everything, you have some adorable bags. But I also want to point out, everybody's kind of congregated around one of the really eclectic and different gifts that you sell right here. What, what, what is this? Well, is they say, snow? you know, who says it doesn't snow in Galveston? Uh -huh. We can make that happen. Okay. Just this little jar of snow to go. Okay, snow. Is this cold? Am I going to freeze? It's, oh, it's wow. Really, doesn't it feel weird? What? What? It, it's snow. It, it, what yes, and it's non-toxic. You can decorate with it. Okay. It'll last for a couple of weeks oh. and um, it looks good if you have like a village or any of those decorations. It. Okay. And the kids can play with it. It's oh, that is very different. Snow Definitely snow. The only snow you're going to find in Galveston. Correct. Correct. You've got the decor. You've got some throw pillows. You've got different bags by the front. You really do have something for everybody. We really do. Like there's not a hard to shop for person if that you can't, can't find it here. <laughs> they don't need it. Correct. Well, Ginger, thank you so much. Absolutely. Happy holidays. I love your Mary sweater. Thank it you. looks Thanks wonderful. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Right. Derek and Courtney back to you guys. What do you want me to bring you? Some snow? Do you want some snow for the set? Uh, I want everything. snow. I want the ranch dressing and love you mom. Whatever that is back there behind <laughs> okay. you, Lauren. I love the it. The merman <laughs> ornaments. We still have them on our tree. So cute. Perfect spot. Gotcha. <laughs> I have FOMO. I'll see you there in a few, Lauren. All right. After a day of shopping, why not relax with your family and a hot cup of cocoa? Better yet, do that aboard the childhood favorite Polar Express train. Coming up, Melt Camp takes us all aboard. It's such a great tradition. And we'll meet Octavia and her friends. They just arrived on the island this week. We'll learn how they're helping to save the planet and where you can find them. Yes, Octavia is made entirely of reclaimed plastic. Don't go away, Houston Life will be right back. Well, welcome back to a special edition of Houston Life. We're at Sanger Fest Park, right along the Strand, checking out all you can do this holiday break in Galveston. Yeah, and that includes a brand new traveling art exhibit, which includes these gigantic sea creatures like this one behind me. They are made entirely of plastic that has washed ashore. It's truly impressive, and it's a reminder for all of us to treat our planet better. And here to talk more about the mission and the artwork, also where you can see all of these creatures. We have Brad Parks, Conservation Education Director with Washed Ashore. Such yes. a cool name. Great to see you, Brad. I'm so happy to be down here on a holiday myself, just like our sculptures on Galveston Island. Okay, all of this, and you get closer, you can see all these plastic pieces, and basically these were things that were found along the shore. Yeah, our goal is really to help bring awareness through art of this ugly problem. So it's really a beautiful solution to inspire people to take action around extra plastic, the ways we interact with plastic in the effort to really help keep beaches like the beautiful ones here and around our home in Oregon clean. Brad, how did this entire project begin? And secondly, why is Galveston Island the perfect place to bring it? Ooh, good question. We began in Oregon 12 years ago around our founding artist seeing the plastic on the beach she loved. It's grown and grown, so we're looking for ways to really expand around the country. In fact, are looking to Galveston as a pilot program to really find a local artist 
who may be able to help one stay here, work with us to create one in 2023 that could then live on here in Galveston with the community once Octavia and her friends around the island leave. Okay, well, we want to talk more about Octavia. Yes. This is her name, yes. Octavia the Octopus. Do we know, I mean, she's what? She's massive and she's over 20 feet in length? Well, or this is, oh no, that's about an octopus, an, a true octopus. Yes. How many pieces, or do we know how oh. many? Countless. Countless. <laughs> no, but the one cool thing is this is free. So come down to the island, whether it's now at the holiday time when you've got time off school or later in January and February. Take a break, come down and explore because it's free. It's something that you can take advantage of and enjoy the beach, learn on about the importance of keeping it clean, but also see this amazing artwork along the way. There is a map that we've been showing our viewers of where they Great. can find these sculptures around the island. Again, more than 30 of them. And what's incredible Brad about this effort is there are so many volunteers, an army of volunteers. They have gathered over the years more than 60,000 pounds of yes. debris to help make sculptures like Octavia possible. And what's both amazing and alarming is that's just from our Oregon beaches. Mm, so wow. 33 states feed the Mississippi watershed that then empties into the Gulf, which can then end up on the beaches here in Galveston. So the plastic pollution problem is really something everybody we want to make sure sees as something we're all responsible to help take take care of. And honestly, I mean, once we look at it, I'm even looking here at a lighter, yeah. I yep. mean, bottle caps, obviously, but this is also about a conversation that needs to continue. Yeah, and things like the sand toys or flip-flops that people may think other people may want to use and they take care of them. No, they end up actually washing out into the water and can really harm animals as they break apart or even if they ingest the whole thing. Wow, lighters, we're seeing toothbrushes, of course, bottle caps, you know, I mean, the and list goes on and on. There is on each one of the signs some fun uh, ways to look for, so there's different things that we've highlighted on with each sculpture to really like search and look. All right, Brad, Explore. with Wash to Shore, uh, this is really fascinating. It's beautiful. They're beautiful from a distance, but when you come on down to the island, take a close look to see. Uh, you're going to recognize all the objects that make up these beautiful sculptures. By the way, in the meantime, if you want to access that map or find more information about where you can find this exhibit, you can visit visitgalveston.com. All right, Brad, thanks Great. again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, coming up next on Houston Life, grab your ticket because we, along with Mel Camp, are taking you along for the ride on the Polar Express. Oh, Houston Life from Galveston, we'll be right back. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life. Well, Galveston is delivering all the holiday vibes today. And when it comes to nostalgia, does it get any better than the popular Polar Express? Okay, many young people, I remember reading the book as a child, but did you know you can experience a real life version of the classic children's story right here on the island? You're sure to have fun no matter your age. So bring the kids or make it a date night for adults. Milcam takes us along for a ride on the very popular Polar Express. Do you believe? Oh God! It's a family adventure. Are you coming? Where? Why? To the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. It's a train ride, but it's not your normal train ride. It's full of magic and singing and dancing and just everything you would expect from the movie, but like right in front of you. Are you ready to go for a ride? Hi! <laughs> and just like the movie, tonight we are on a round trip journey to the North Pole. All aboard! <laughs> Only this Polar Express departs from the Railroad Museum in Galveston. Set to the sounds of the motion picture, we experience the magic of a classic holiday tale about a doubting young boy not real. who takes a ride to the North Pole and meets Santa. But there is a secret to meeting old Saint Nick. You have to believe. 
There is singing and storytelling and dancing chefs who serve cookies and hot chocolate. And just like in the book, families are encouraged to wear pyjamas, which everyone did really well this trip. The main thing you need to bring is your Christmas spirit, but I mean, um, some cute Christmas clothes would help too. The Lee family came all the way from Katie for their trip around the North Pole. I feel like the odd one out. You guys look so cool in your pajamas. Now, I want to know, did you plan this and order these online way out so they arrived on time? So actually, we uh, have pajamas every year anyway, so I know that by the holiday season, everything's out, so we had it already going coming here. Okay, what was your favorite thing so far on Polar Express? Hakoko. What's your favorite? Singing, dancing, what? Everything. 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 He loved it. What about yours? Everything. Everything. They everything. loved it all. Yes, magical. But ultimately, what we were all here for was this guy. And now, I have a special gift for each and every one of you. I Great holiday vibe experience and um, the singing, the dancing, the cocoa, everything was amazing. The Polar Express is fun for all the family and while Santa is definitely a highlight, you never know who else might be on board. Have you ever seen Dodgeball? You've seen the pirate. I'm here. Yep, this trip, actor Alan Tudyk was along for the ride. It has been one of the most memorable experiences for my family. We had the whole train car, number six to ourselves, the caboose, the cast and the crew, the best experience we've ever had. What was the highlight of tonight? The highlight of tonight was definitely Santa Claus. We had... Wait, aren't you Santa Claus? Well, we've got a little, I, I, I would say I'm the elf. If you see, we got Buddy on the back. <laughs> so we're having a good time here. High five <laughs> and Merry Christmas. <laughs> And that is the magic of the season. So much fun. By the way, there are still some seats available. So if you would like to grab your ticket, you can visit GalvestonRRMuseum.org. All right, coming up after the break, we are taking a step back in time. We're headed across the street to La King's Confectionery and Soda Fountain, where they're making candy and taffy the same way they did in the 1920s. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back. We are wrapping up this special holiday edition of Houston Life right here on Galveston Island. I can't believe a full hour has already passed. It has gone by so quickly, but we all need a sweet treat. Or did we already have one? <laughs> so I may have already come inside of Le King's and had two full scoops of ice cream for lunch. But you know what? It doesn't matter because you guys didn't you read the shirt that was behind us. Christmas, Christmas calories, calories don't, don't count. count. Hey, All we agree. Now. <laughs> so in case you haven't heard, La King's Confectionery and Ice Cream Parlor is a throwback to the 1920s when folks used to come out and they would sit at the soda bar, they would get some saltwater taffy. Truly, it is a one-stop shop for coffee, for treats, for ice cream. Lauren, I'm surprised you stopped to just two scoops. Well, you know, I had the candy. I already have it in my suitcase. <laughs> my suitcase to go and bring back home for later. <laughs> Listen, this is always a stop no matter what season we are in la king's is always packed it's one of those places that you can bring a hostess gift these are great gifts for your kids or even neighbors there's something for everyone here and it really does take you back down memory lane as a child there's all kinds of great sweet treats here and if you come in this store and you cannot find something you love or that looks delicious to you something's wrong with you okay. no i'm kidding you but there are a million here, options here are the kind of like the throwback candies i mean the if you remember breakers. going in or like rock candy i remember yes. as a kid going into like a store and getting you know rock but candy here's my question you guys when it comes to a store like this what do i do do i uh, like two pounds of candy corn? i know Is that how you have to order it? well you do two maybe two pieces and move along get two two of everything okay, you can okay. buy candy by the pound also depending on the time of day you're here you can see this area over here which is quiet right now but you can actually watch some of these old-fashioned candies being made including the saltwater taffy pole it's fascinating to watch their artisans go to work it really is and you cannot forget we cannot 
mention the soda fountains that they have here. Here's Lauren's, uh, she was yes. belly up to the ice cream bar earlier. <laughs> See that um, ginormous 15 <laughs> scoop cup? That was me. Yep. Listen, there are so many flavors to satisfy any sweet tooth anytime, but there's also coffee and sodas and all kinds if you can't find it here at La King's, it doesn't exist. Add La King's to your list, and while you're at it, planning your weekend staycation or a little getaway on the island, remember, visit Galveston.com. Visit Galveston.com. They have all kinds of incredible information and resources there, so you can come on and have a festival time. Absolutely. From the shopping, which I knew you totally enjoyed I today. I time. Yes, I do. I had FOMO. <laughs> I'm going to go hit the shops now after I eat my three scoops of ice cream. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for this special holiday edition of Houston. Houston Life on the Island. We'll see you next time.